With Visual Studio 2010, there are two ways to make ASP.NET applications, classic ASP.NET and the newer ASP.NET MVC approach. The classic method is an event-based programming model which was designed to allow application developers to quickly transform their skills in software development to website development. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a classic ASP.NET website. So let's say you're a C-sharp developer and you want to make a little website for a C-sharp user group. Go ahead and start Visual Studio, do a new project, and click on ASP.NET Web Application. Make sure you don't click on ASP.NET MVC2 Web Application. Click on ASP.NET Web Application. Give it a name. Let's call it User Group, and create it. The nice thing about the projects now in Visual Studio 2010 is that they are templates of websites. So when you start, you have a full website that's clickable. And basically, all you need to do if you want to live with this template is to change the information. So let's say we want to advertise the next meeting, current meetings. And then we want to say here, Thursday, 8 p.m. in the cafeteria. So that is simply that page and it is finished. We also have an about page here. And that is in the about ASPX file. If you double click on that, Change the HTML there. We learn C sharp. And now we have two pages home, current meetings, and about our information here. Now we want to also change this title. The template is using the concept of a master page, so just double click here on Site Master and you'll see the text here. C sharp user group. Go ahead and run it again. And things are looking very personalized now. Let's put some interactivity in this just so I can show you how to respond to an event, such as a button click. So we're in Site Master here. Let's go back to default, for instance, and then go into Design View. And in Design View, First, we want to stop it running here. In Design View, you'll have a toolbox. If you don't, you can add it here, other windows, and just turn on the toolbox here. Let's put in a button, and when the user clicks it, he'll see the topic of the meeting. So go ahead and hit Return here, and then you could just drag a button in. And on the button, text, current topic. And we'll need a place to, I pressed enter there, to display the topic. So let's drag a label over here and delete the text out of it and change its name. Instead of label one, info box, info area. And you see that classic ASP.NET gives you the all familiar interface of double clicking a button to create an event handler for it. And so all we have to do then is say info area dot text equals and then type the name of the oops, the name of the topic that's going to be talked about at the meeting, reactive extensions, let's say. And now if we run it, we have some interactivity. So current topic is reactive extension. Let's correct that just for accuracy's sake. But you can see here with classic ASP.NET, you don't have to worry about any of the reposting issues that you have when you're working down at the HTML level. Right? If you were programming in PHP, for instance, you would have to somehow handle the button click by using JavaScript or jQuery or a form and post it back to the server, etc. The classic ASP.NET 
model takes care of all of that for you. And it's as if you're working in Windows Forms or WPF. So we'll see if this actually displays it correctly, and it does. So in this lesson, you saw how quickly you can create an interactive and decent-looking website. If you have experience programming with an event-based model, for example in C++, VB6, WinForms, or WPF, and especially if you have no experience in traditional web development, working down at the level of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, then classic ASP.NET is the tool for you to create website applications.